What is fascism? Part 6. Exploiting the rural and urban divide. For as long as humans have lived in complex civilizations, we have had suburbs, we've had cities, and we've had rural areas. Fascist leaders often exploit the cultural differences between rural people and urban people. And they almost always depict rural people as being salt of the earth, simple values, God-fearing, hard-working, usually traditional, and other virtuous framing. On the other hand, cities and people who live in cities are often depicted as dirty, dangerous, uh, filled with vice, and uh, you know people being very selfish. And the fact that cities tend to be more racially, culturally, and ethnically diverse than the countryside also plays a role in this characterization of cities and city dwellers. You saw this in 2020 when Trump basically tried to weaponize fear about the Black Lives Matter movement and the Black Lives Matter protest that took place in the summer of 2020 and basically tried to manipulate suburbanites into voting for him by promising to protect them from these supposedly dangerous people. And that is how many other fascist leaders get people in the rural areas to support them or to the very least to, to turn a blind eye to their actions. Prepare for, prepare for part seven.